I'm back at my hotel, the Flamingo, and we're about to play some slots, man. Hopefully, to win big. You know what I mean? Get back all the money that you know I've spent. Gotta go find a lucky machine. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, currently just playing the slots. Lost a bit, won a bit. Just probably broke even. So, right now we're looking for food. Let's see if there's some pizza here. Ooh, man, yes. Enjoying my time so far. I'm gonna keep y'all posted. I really wanna still gamble, but we'll see. dispensary. It's officially day, what day is it? Four? Three? Officially day three, I believe, in Vegas. Okay, yesterday it was so lit. I went to Club Omnia, man, the best time of my life. Um, got super lit. 
And yeah, I ended up leaving there and going to the biggest, the sweet dispensary in the world. And then came back and then, I don't know, I like knocked out or something. So it's day three, I'm about to get something to eat. And yes, see if we can get into some, you know, adventurous stuff. Because you know how I do. I never got a chance to do anything yesterday because I was too busy exploring the Vegas Strip. But hopefully today we get to do some cool stuff. I'm about to get... Um, a refill on my fat Tuesdays because I'm trying to get lit. Yes. So stay tuned and come on the strip with me. Yeah, girl. Bye. Yeah. So if you're coming to Vegas, you haven't been here. My suggestion to you is definitely Fat Tuesdays because honestly, it might make a lot of you. The food and the drinks over here are very expensive. Like I feel like for a meal for two, I spent. 100 canadian dollars a day you know but when you trans you know transverse it into like american dollars it's so basically 100 canadian dollars is 70 american okay so that's like a good chunk of change you know what i mean so like and yesterday you know like i was telling you i went to the club and we stayed we went to club omnia and the drinks were 21 dollars each yeah so it's pretty pretty pricey so you know make sure you find somewhere where you can actually get lit and this i was drinking is 44 magnum and um it was like right here and i was like right there and i was already lit so be prepare yourself when you come to vegas just know that it is very expensive because you are on a strip and you want to find drinks that will last you that will get you lit to avoid you having to purchase like all these expensive drinks. Okay, we want to strip. Cool background, guys. Okay guys, currently on my way to do um, zip lining. Yes, um, I'm doing it pretty late. It's 12 a.m. in the morning. You can do it between 11 a.m. and 1 a.m. every day. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm not sure if they allow GoPros up there. Apparently they don't. So I might not be able to take the event, but I definitely can tell you what happens and the process and how it went. So we are on our way there to fly links.
finished doing it, man. I was kind of nervous. I was kind of like, I'm gonna chicken out. But I did all right. We're done. Successful. It was fun. And no, I couldn't get my GoPro up there. So you can rent a GoPro for $30, $32.46 to um, capture the experience. That includes photos as well. But other than that, you cannot bring any camera or any loose items up there. Okay, see you soon. All right, everybody, we're going into our last night in Vegas last night and um, we're about to go party at the Mirage they're having a hip-hop and reggae taunt party so that's what we're doing for the last night just finished um, zip lining which I was frightened by the way like I was like I felt like how I felt when I did the scene tower that's how I felt that's how scared I felt anywho so um, Yes, it's party time, and of course, you know I'm gonna have the footage for y'all. All right, stay tuned. Yes, that was coming out of the hotel itself. One of the hotels. Especially my last day in Vegas. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. I don't want it to end, man. I don't want it to end.